Hi there, I'm here to tell you all about our brand new Myopia Profile Infographic, Myopia Management in Practice. Now at this point in the eye care profession's myopia management journey, we're starting to understand a lot more about the why of myopia management. We're understanding what we can use and there's more and more products becoming available, but the how, how we actually put this into practice, what words we say to parents and to patients is, is the tricky part. And this is where we've worked very hard at Myopia Profile, Myopia Profile being Paul and I, putting all of this information together in a way that's going to make it easy for you to communicate the message being evidence-based, but also allowing appropriate informed consent for parents in an engaging manner. So we have distributed the infographics so far at two conferences, and these are the partners we've worked with to do so. Now, firstly, we've worked with the Centre for Ocular Research and Education at University of Waterloo in Canada to distribute the infographic at the GSLS conference in January 2020. And this was to coincide with the very exciting announcement of the Global Myopia Symposium, which will occur for the first time in 2021. We also worked with CORE at the University of Waterloo to distribute this infographic at the American Academy of Optometry meeting at the end of 2019. So perhaps you've got a copy of the infographic in your hand and you want to know what to do with it next. Or perhaps you're about to download it from the website or you already have. We're making it freely available on the website. We also distributed a version of the infographic, four of the eight info boxes I'm going to tell you about in a moment, to all Australian optometrists who are members of Optometry Australia through a joint project we also did towards the end of 2019. So let's get into it. I want to tell you about this wonderful infographic we've put together and how I use it in practice. I'm not going to go into great detail about all the research behind it because that's on the website for you. I'll show you that in a moment. But side one of the infographic is designed for practitioner to parent in-room communication. And side two is designed as a reference for eye, eye care practitioners to be able to understand the foundational elements of clinical myopia management. Now on the website, if you have a look at the link, which is written right at the bottom of the infographic, it will take you to a special web page, which provides you all of the uh, scientific research behind the infographic and also links to further reading. So this can help you to really understand the basis of, of where the infographic has been built from and also how you can uh, ensure you have the clinical knowledge to put this into practice. So all of that information is there for you. So on side one we've got four info boxes and their attendant information on the website. And on side two, which is the ECP facing side, we have our four info boxes and the attendant information, all there for you on the website to look at. So I'm gonna tell you how I use this side, the clinical communication side in practice. Firstly, we've got our visual environment advice, and this is important advice for any child of this day and age, not just our myopic or our premyopic children. It goes through advice on outdoor time, advice on near work and screen time, and advice about physical activity and movement as well. Now this box here, number two with the racing cars, is where I tend to start when I'm describing the myopia message to parents. And the thing I love about these racing cars is how simple it creates an analogy uh, with myopia and enables us to set up expectations. So firstly, have a look at that little single vision racing car up the top that's out, in, out ahead. This helps me to describe to parents that once myopia has started progressing, it's like a racing car. I can't stop the racing car. There's nothing I can prescribe that can guarantee to stop the racing car. So myopia will still progress no matter what I do that's likely to occur. But there are things that we can prescribe to try and slow down the racing car. We have spectacle lens options, which on average at this point in time, slow progression by about a third. We have our contact lens options, that second bottom row, which slow progression by about a half. And then we have various atropine combinations, which in monotherapy at least, appear to slow things by about a third or a half, dependent on the concentration. And that's all on the website if you want to understand the basis. But that's the parental message. Now the third box is all about how kids can wear contact lenses. And these are just three key pieces of information to improve parental confidence in contact lens wearing children. Particularly the fact that children aged eight to 12 
appear to be safe for contact lens wearers and won't take that much longer to learn how to handle their contact lenses compared to teens. There's also some safety information down at the bottom of that particular square. And then box number four is talking about the why of myopia management. We've put this towards the end because we don't want to alarm parents too much up front and stop them taking in the good news message, which is, which is at the start that we can do things to slow down these little racing cars. So we've got the information there about increased levels of, or increased risk of pathology, odds ratios with high levels of myopia. And also the message about control, controlling by a doctor, reducing risk of lifelong pathology. Now I know that I've had parents go to take the infographic from me, um, put their phone and their keys on top of it after I've explained it to them and I've said, no, sorry, that one's for me, this one's for you. So this is why we've developed a take home brochure for parents and also an individualized advice card that you can use as well. I'll show you each of these. Now, the brochure is designed to mimic the graphics in the infographic, and this is all, all of this amazing graphic work is all Paul. He's the, the, the brains and the creativity behind this. So on the first page of the brochure, it's, it looks appealing. We're talking about protecting children from myopia. On the inside of the brochure, you'll see as it expands, we've got bottom right there, the why of myopia management. And when you open it the whole way out, we've got our advice up the top about visual environment, our contact lens information, and then our little racing cars down the bottom. So it's generalized information for parents to take home. On the back of the brochure, there's a reference to the My Kids Vision website, which we set up to communicate the myopia management message to parents. It's our public facing website. And we know that this gets a lot of use in clinical practice across the world. And Paul set up this nifty QR code on the back of the brochure. So I was taking pictures of the brochure earlier to put this um, presentation together and my camera immediately read the QR code and went to open the website. So that's really easy for parents to engage with this information. So we've got this take home information uh, for parents, which you can download freely from the website. We're also looking at um, partnerships with local distributors as well to save you the printing hassle and that information we'll have for you on the website. So to take you through the individualized advice card, I don't always use this in practice. It depends on the child and it depends on the level of conversation as to whether we need to really drill down into the specifics of risk for that particular child. So firstly, we have a graphic which describes all of the things that could speed up our little myopia car. And this is also the first square of our practitioner reference side, which we'll get to in a moment. So this can help you to, uh, I guess, explain to a parent what the urgency might be around a myopia management strategy. More boxes means more fuel in the little car and more likelihood of progression towards higher levels of myopia. We then have options for you to make your specific prescribing recommendations and then space towards the bottom of the car card to make, so I've got the car analogy, I just think the car analogy is great, uh, space towards the bottom of the card for you to make specific recommendations and to write when you want to see that child again. So what we've done here is put together something that helps you in room and also supports what you've talked about in room by now enabling the parents to take the information home, have something hard copy, as well as be able to learn more online through the mykidsvision.org website. So the second side of the infographic, which hopefully you have in your hot hand, your hot little hand, or you are downloading and printing, is the practitioner reference side. Now we've got those risk factors for speeding up the myopia car uh, without putting particular weight on the individual risk factors because we don't have quite enough idea about that. This gives us an idea of all the things that, as I mentioned before, can lead to faster progression or indeed in the first instance, development of myopia. As we mentioned, this is uh, referenced on that individualized advice card as well. Now the second box is some clinical decision trees. More support for that, for you to learn about that is on the Myopia Profile website. But essentially, once you have a myopic child, you've got to correct the myopia. 
correct it with either glasses or contact lenses, and then you're going to make specific choices based on the individual, based on what you have available, and based on family and parental capacity as well. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of where to start. Then we have our follow-up schedules depending on treatment, and this is adapted from the International Myopia Institute Clinical Management Guidelines paper. And finally, gauging success. This is something which is, this is probably the most important part of the infographic really because we know how to, or we might know how to have the initial conversation. We might know how to explain myopia progression or even use predictors at the outset. But we don't have anything out there right now to help us work out how well is it working over time. So this is designed to support you with that using a gauge of dioptic progression and also discussing axial length progression to help you have those clinical discussions down the line to be able to describe whether we've got a good or perhaps a potentially poor myopia control result and then to help drive um, further management decision making if it's needed. So that's what we've put together for you and we're really thrilled to be able to present this to you now, not just handing out at conferences but also on the website. We've got our clinical communication side that is parent facing. We have our reference side which is practitioner facing and then we have the brochure and the individual advice card which you can hand out to parents in practice as well to support your communications. Now, as I mentioned, this is available for download on the Myopia Profile website now. If you haven't been at any of these recent conferences and haven't got the hard copy yourself, if you are downloading it, do print it on something nice. You want it to print to print it on some good card so it's going to last for all of the use that it's going to get. But there's a lot more on the Myopia Profile website to support you in this myopia management journey and in this process in putting it into practice. So from the Myopia Profile homepage, we've got links to all sorts of resources. Down at the bottom of the page there, there's five learning portals where you can customize your learning journey in Myopia Management. There are courses available, and in particular, our Myopia Management in Practice free online course, only one of its type in the whole wide world, it's quite popular, will help get you on the right track. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, do join up because it's an amazing unparalleled opportunity to engage with clinicians all over the world. And the mykidsvision.org website, as I mentioned before, is our parent facing, our public awareness website that's designed to support your clinical communication, make it easier for you and to back up what you're saying. Now we've also got blogs, we've got further resources, we've got a podcast series. There's so much stuff. We could obviously talk about myopia all day long and we do so and it's all for you this is all information we've put together to ensure that this message gets out there and we really want to see more children appropriately managed in their myopia so we can achieve our goal of improving children's vision care worldwide and you're a part of it you it all starts with you it all starts with that discussion in the chair so if you haven't joined the resistance join the resistance already uh, you can find us on the web Facebook, YouTube, as you are right now, and on Twitter. And come and join the company of all of these wonderful nerds. These are a bunch of friends from at least a dozen, a dozen countries around the world, um, all sort of making their stamp on resisting the relentless march of progressive childhood myopia. So join the resistance with us, put the infographic into practice. I'm sure you're going to love it and find it really useful, as I've definitely found in my practice. Thanks very much.